their, their, their rim protection last season versus this one. Yeah, going most to definitely. Game. I think uh, definitely lessons we can take from that. You know, with the size Purdue had. Um, Kentucky has even more size and athleticism, so on those drives and plays, we have to, you know, really make sure and we focus that, you know, we're not giving them easy block shots to, you know, start that break. At the same time, I guess, do you have to guard heavily against becoming maybe a little bit too jump shot happy against a team that has that rim protection? Yeah, I think that's a key also. You know, we can't just rely on jump shots, um, period. But, you know, at the same time, we just have to make this, the smart play. Sometimes the smart play is a three, sometimes the drive is just all in, you know, the reason how the defense is playing. I apologize if you have asked this already, but have you guys had discussions about, you know, who's going to guard, you know, Tyler Hewlett, Jamal Murray, and so on? Yeah, we have, but, you know, um, like I said earlier, it's, it's going to come down to, you know, different guys guarding, you know, different guys on our team. It's not going to be just one set guy guarding, you know, one of our guys. When you, go, when you guard a kid like Jamal Murray, by all accounts, can kind of just get his own shot, no matter how much you're on him. I mean, as a defender, are there things that you're, I mean, what specifically are you trying to go down the line of? Yeah, um, I just just try to make it hard for him, man. You know, every way possible. Um, like you said, he's good enough to get his own shot a lot of the time. So it comes down to just making each and every shot tough. You know, making them work to get the ball, and you know, just just trying to make it hard for him. It feels like you've been a four-year guy because you bought in right away and you're really a part of it. How did that kind of happen when a guy's only there for a short time? You know, I, I think I just I came in not knowing what to expect, really, just kind of like a sponge trying to absorb everything I could. And, uh, you know, I, I talked with Coach and just trying to figure out what he wanted from me and tried to be that as soon as I could. Um, you know, I think with the opportunity of losing some guys and kind of lacking that upperclassman presence, you know, it, it made it a little bit easier for me to come in and, you know, kind of be the, be the guy I, I have been for the team this year. Um, try to be a consistent force out there and a leader. Kind of tailing on the uh, last one here, the other guys who come back, obviously Derek Elson is around in his role. Kind of what's, what's his impact and what, what's his interaction with the players? You know, having Derek, it's, it's nice, you know, medium between the coaches and players. You know, a lot of times, sometimes two different worlds as far as players and coaches and having Derek's kind of like a bridge between those two worlds. It's nice, you know, he can... You know, it's like sometimes the players and the coaches speak two different languages. And, you know, when, when the players are trying to get a point across, the coaches don't understand it. Derek's there to translate, basically. How gratifying has this year been for you? It seems like, you know, a lot of times you see the situation, it doesn't work out. It seems like kind of things have just fallen yeah. into place. Just, you know, we're no, yeah, it's, it's been great. It was definitely the right choice for me. Um, you know, playing with these guys has been awesome. I definitely I definitely love it. You know, the coaches are coaches have been even better than I expected. And the school, you know, I love, obviously, you know, being, me being in the Kelly School of Business, I've loved every second of that. Um, you know, Indiana, Bloomington, it's only four hours from my hometown, it's great. And, you know, obviously the success we've had this year, winning the Big Ten, and, you know, not trying to make a run in the tournament, it's just, you know, been everything you can ask for. Chicago Tribune, what do you want to ask about Illinois? Yeah. You know, what was, obviously your family camp, I guess your mom, your dad, sisters? Mom, dad, sister, both sets of grandparents, um, other sisters there right now, uncles, aunts, cousins, it's crazy. Yeah. And then name on the bill. Yeah, 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 that was kind of, uh, you know, playing against the Kentucky All-Stars, we had a couple of the guys who played for Kentucky at the time. So seeing them again and just kind of catching up and seeing how things were. Um, and the basketball standpoint, it was more just friendship. Like, hey, how are you comparing? You know, what are you guys doing compared to what we're doing? So, um, but yeah, it just kind of led into that and, and we just played from there. As far as your role on the team, some of the other guys were saying, they think the biggest thing is you're kind of like a bridge. You can speak player speak, you can speak coach speak. Yeah. Is, is, how, does that, how does that work? Uh, it's just kind of easier, you know, when uh, I'm a kind of the guy they can go to and talk to and you don't have to be um, so serious and just so like focused in on everything, you know, I'm kind of here just to kind of, like you said, I'm like a gap, I'm, you know, I want to be there and tell you what's going on and where you need to be, but I also want to be a guy that you can talk to too, so uh, on and off the court, you know, we joke, we have fun, we do what we got to do, but when everybody lines up and gets inside those little uh, those black lines or whatever you want to call it, um, it's all X's and O's, and it's all what you need to do. But I mean, if these guys have questions, it's nice to just go out and eat, grab a bite, and just talk basketball in this fun. What's it been like for you to be back? Uh, it's fun. A lot of it's fun. Uh, a lot of it's tough, you know, just to sit out there every day and know you can't get out there and even work out with the guys. It's been tough for me, but um, I kind of found a new role, you know, um, being up there watching more film. It, it helps me, you know, allow.
collaborate more with these guys. And you know, they'll come up to me, hey, what does this guy do? Well, I just I watched two hours of film on him, uh, so I can tell you. You know, but I do miss the, you know, strap some pads on and, and uh, let's go out there and play. So it's it's been give and take, and it's been fun. Real fast, I'm sure you probably answered a couple of times already, but just what makes this rivalry so much fun? Uh, it's just Kentucky, Indiana. You know, it's 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 something. It's a rivalry that's been going on forever. Um, I think a lot of it now is that we haven't played for a while. Um, but a lot of these guys, you know, for a lot of these guys, Kentucky has a lot of friends. You know, a lot of these guys play together now in high school. So uh, I'm sure seeing them again is going to bring up a lot of energy and just seeing where they're at. But. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's just going to be electrifying out there. We've got, uh, you know, us, Kentucky, Kansas, and UConn. So the crowd is just going to be electrifying, and and, and they're going to see right away that uh, this is something special. Now you're one of the few people that has the opportunity to have played UK in an NCAA tournament game. And what's that double whammy like? Sorry for the answer. Oh no, it's it's fun. It's fun to see where we were at, you know, and and. Um, how this team is, you know, it's uh, we're gonna go out there and we're just gonna play the way we've been playing. Uh, we're really focusing on us right now. Um, just like I said, we're just gonna get out there and see uh, where we're at. You guys talked a lot about adjusting from, <laughs> to Purdue from last year to this year and how much better you got in terms of dealing with the way they protect the rim. Do you see some similarities in getting ready for a team like Kentucky? I mean, yeah, but they just don't have an ice hash, you know. Um, <clears throat> I mean, they're a great shot blocking team, and we had to adjust to it before. But, you know, this team is way more athletic, and uh, they like to rotate. They, they, uh, they love their bigs. They, they utilize their bigs a lot, whether it's on offense or defense. So it's not nothing we haven't had to uh, adjust or prepare for. I guess how, how do you get ready for a team? Is it just about being more focused? Kind of what are the keys? I mean, you're always going to be focused for every game, but more like just attacking the room. There's no, like, you can't just throw up a layup. You can't just go in there. We got to go in there aggressive. You either got to dunk or you got to kick it out or you got to make a strong layup. You almost have to guard against getting like too jumper happy in a game like this. You almost got what? Get uh, guard against getting too jumper happy to get, basically respecting their rim protecting ability too much. Um, I mean we don't, I don't, we don't have anybody that, that gets start, that starts to get jumper happy. You know, uh, we got a lot of people. That, I mean, then we utilize our bigs too. I mean, Oj's not a big, but he's such, he's so multi multi usable that he uh, he can play down there. Then you got Thomas, of course. You got Max, and then their bigs have to respect our bigs. Thomas can shoot the three. Max can shoot the three, so it's just more about spacing now and just playing. Defensively, um, some of the guys have said one of the big keys is just to make sure that you're right correctly against them. You don't make those little mistakes that give guys free, free reign and you know, free lanes to drive. How important is it for this game for all five guys to really be on the same page? It's really important. You know, they're a great team, uh, but at the same time, it's just that we, we can't have any lateral moves. We got to play all downhill. We got to attack. We can't, can't curve off on our drives or anything. We just got to attack. Defensively, are they team? Do you feel better trying to attack the ball, trying to get steals, trying to go get from them, or is it more of a team where you you, you defend and try to force them to take tough shots? Um, it's a little bit of both. You know, you want to be aggressive, you want to try to force steals, but at the same time, you can't gamble. You gotta be, you gotta also stay smart and stay solid as well. So it's just a game of just just playing, just just being smart with what you do. Have you guys? Yeah, we played against him. Yeah. What did you think of his high school player? He was a great high school player. He was, he was very, he was very good on that offensive and defensive end. You know, he's a, you know, he was a reason why he's at Kentucky. You know, uh, he was a reason why he was recruited so high and he was great so high in high school. You know, uh, he's a great player. It's noticeable you know, that he's getting better, but I'm also getting better as well, you know, with the team. And um, you just go out there and you're not playing that jersey, you know, you're playing that personnel, you know, you just get out there and watch the film, you know, see the tendencies that he that he does, you know, try and take those away as much as possible. You know, and uh, just go out there, a collective team, and go out there trying to win. Thomas, they got four big guys about your size. I mean, they can throw 20, 20 fouls at you. How, do you, how are you going to deal with the fouls and the size? Well, I'm going to deal with the fouls and the size. <laughs> Just do it like any other game, you know. Purdue had had some big guys on their team, you know. We handled that pretty well. Um, you just have to stay disciplined out there, you know. Um, just play play well, learn, um, be disciplined out there, and just take it take it from there. Hey, Thomas, how much is Scott like Shaq? 
It's not like Shaq. Yeah. Are there any similarities or are they different? As far as the shot clock. Um, <laughs> I can answer that for you. <laughs> I'll, uh, Scott and Shaq are two different players, <laughs> just like me and Shaq. Well, people have mentioned that, but I mean, it's just, I just want to hear your thoughts. You played with Shaq, yeah. you prepped for Scott, so there's not really a lot of comparison as far as shot blocking goes. No, he's a great shot blocker. You know, he's a great, he's a great protector of that rim. So that's all I can say about it. Who, who are some of the better shot blockers you've gone up against? Maybe you know, Ed Huntington from the AAU in college. Um, I have to say, uh, one of the best shot blockers that I played with was all, was uh, Shake Diallo, who's on Kansas. You know, he's a he's a real uh, great protector of that rim. Thomas, what would you give as a scouting report when you're looking at this Kentucky team? Um, the scouting report, I would say, you know, very very great team. You know, um, they have great guards, great bigs. You know, they get out there and transition and push the ball. You just have to stay disciplined out there and follow the coach's orders. The season about adjusting from last season to the season playing for new, the way that they protect the rim, you play the team that it's pretty you know, shot block happy tomorrow. Just kind of had it. Do you see some similarities in the way you get ready for Purdue and Kentucky? Yeah, uh, Kentucky, I say, is Purdue on steroids basically with the way they block shots. You know, with them setting the NCAA record last night with block shots, you know, all their big guys can block shots. And the main thing is you can't take it in amongst the bigs. You got to share the ball a lot, move it, get it into the post, get it in and out, and try and stretch those bigs out. I guess at the same time, do you almost have to be focused on not getting too jumper happy against a team like this? Uh, I say so. I, mean, I say we're at our best when we play inside out, you know, get it into the paint, kicking it out reversing it, getting multiple reversals, because that'll break the defense down. What do you expect to get out of Thomas Bryant tomorrow against against UK's bigs? Um, you know, I hopefully Thomas can, you know, get those bigs in foul trouble, you know, make make them have multiple subs, and, you know, expect Thomas to go out and just, you know, play the game he's, he's always played all year. How much are you looking forward to playing with Tyler? I know everybody's been talking about that matchup. How are you feeling about playing against Tyler and how you do that in the field? Um, you know, he's obviously a great point guard, just the way he leads his team, shoot at an unbelievable rate, drives. You know, when Presby with him, he gets fouled a lot. So, you know, he knows a way to draw contact and gets to the free throw line. So the main thing with him is, you know, not put your hand into his body. Dougie, in the four years you've been in Bloomington, has Coach Crean's approach changed at all? How, has he changed as a coach? Uh, he changes when we win, let's put it that way. Because <laughs> when we lose, man, he's not happy. Uh, but no, his approach every single year, day in and day out, has been the same. He's always been an energetic, you know, positive coach, always wants to get us better, I feel like. And, you know, he definitely looks out for us. Do you think this season, because it started with some struggles and ended up in a really good place, has been especially gratifying to him? Um, I think so, and you know, that just shows the way he's stuck with us and the way we've gone through adversity. You know, I'm proud of him, you know, not giving up on us because, you know, when we had that bad run in Maui, you know, he just kept getting on us, getting on us because he saw the potential in us.